These things were intentionally blown up. An explosion right near a Navy aircraft carrier. It wasn't an attack, it was just a test. It's called a full ship shock trial. The Navy routinely uses live explosives to test that their warships, quote, can continue to meet demanding mission requirements under harsh conditions they might encounter in battle. Officials say the 100-ton USS Gerald R. Ford was able to withstand the explosion, which geologists say measured as a 3.9 magnitude earthquake. The test took place near Florida in 2021, and the Navy says it complied with protocols to ensure the safety of marine life as well as all the personnel participating in the test. In April of 2022, Ukrainian military forces performed controlled explosions on long-range mines that Russia troops dropped on the city of Kharkiv. The mines, set on timers, can explode at any minute. Rescue workers, demolition squads, and police closed off the neighborhood while they detonated the mines. Each green tube is about the size of a liter of soda and is packed with three pounds of explosives. The weapons of destruction are not widely used. The last time the U.S. used scatterable landmines was during Operation Desert Storm in 1991. By 1997, the mines were banned by 164 nations, including Ukraine. Some well-placed cameras captured the moment four massive cooling towers were demolished in 2021. The cooling towers had been part of the Eggboro power plant in England. The plant burned coal, generating electricity, but also produced greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. The 300-foot-tall structures were a fixture of the landscape in North Yorkshire, but not anymore. Reduced to rubble. The Trump Plaza Hotel, once an Atlantic City casino, was demolished in 2021 by 3,000 sticks of dynamite. I'd like to see the Trump name be blasted along with the building. My heart was just broken. Joanne London worked as a cocktail waitress at the Trump Plaza when it opened in 1984. It was a beautiful building. It was brass, glass, and class, as Donald Trump said. But the hotel, like all of Trump's Atlantic City properties, fell on hard times and closed in 2014. Whoa! 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 For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.